Are you looking for a way to live stream to Twitch, Mixer, or YouTube? In this video right here, I'm going to show you how to live mobile stream using the Streamlabs application on your mobile phone. Coming at you right now. Hello all, it's Wild coming at you from my stream support playlist where I try to bring you the best tips, tricks, and in this tutorial right here, a little education to help you on your streaming adventure. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing and hitting that bell so you know when my videos go live. If you're into streaming, whether it be on Twitch, Mixer, or YouTube, you probably want to venture out into doing mobile streaming at some point. And you know what? I've done it a couple of times when I go on my painting adventures and I like to live stream them to Twitch, Mixer, or YouTube. And one of the best applications out there that you can use on your mobile phone is actually using Streamlabs. And if you're not familiar with Streamlabs, it's an application that you get to use for a plethora of different things when you live stream. For alerts, donations, certain graphics, certain tickers, things like that. But they also came out with an application that you can use on your mobile phone to stream to Twitch, Mixer, and YouTube. And you know what? It's actually a really good application. So I wanted to take a little bit of time and go over a tutorial of how to use the application because it might be the perfect one for you to use out there. Let's go to the desktop and take a look. If you don't have the application already downloaded, make sure you go into your app store and download Streamlabs. Basically just type in Streamlabs. There'll be two search results. Make sure to look for their little icon that they have and go ahead and download it. It only takes a few moments. I already have mine downloaded, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it right here. And you're gonna be asked to log in under which platform you would like to stream to. At the moment, you can stream to either Twitch, YouTube, or Mixer. Depending on which one you wanna do, make sure you select that. For the sake of this tutorial right here, I'm gonna go ahead and stream under my Twitch account. Now it's gonna ask you to log in with all your information regardless of what you pick, whether it be Twitch, YouTube, or Mixer. Just go ahead and enter in all your basic information here. Now just a quick note, if it asks you to authenticate because I have two-factor authentication, you will have to send it in a uh, text message to yourself so that way you can grab the extra code. Once you've logged in, it's gonna ask if it's okay for the program to access whichever platform you're going to be streaming under. Make sure you hit authorize or otherwise the program will not work for you. All right, now we're all logged in. Hello there. As you can see, we have picked which platform we are under. We are under the Twitch platform, which shows you right here, but this would either show you Twitch, YouTube, or Mixer. It shows you my account, Wild for Games, right there. And it shows you all the other host of buttons and things that we can tap on. Let's first start over here. It's showing you your title screens that you have, but even more on that side, if we actually grab and swipe just like this, it's gonna open up all the things that you can edit here. So it shows you right now I'm under the live screen. If I go to editor, it's gonna show you all the editing options that I have. So you can see these are all the awesome plugins that Streamlab already has within their application that you get to use while you're live streaming, which is really kind of fun and impressive because a lot of the other programs out there kind of don't have this so much, but they do have a little bit, but this one's the most streamlined I've seen yet. So as you can see, we have our events list right here, which will show you all the things that happen in your stream as you're live, like donations or followers or subscribers, things like that. Then down here, you have your chat box, which is obviously the chat of people talking in your stream that'll show up on your screen when you're live. Then to the right of that is your alert box, which are any of your graphics that you have already within the Streamlabs application. Those will pop on followers, donations, subscribers, things like that, etc. And then if you have any other things, like for instance, I have my donation goal up here, that will also show the ticker for that. And these are all movable, and I believe there's different ones, but I haven't played around with it too much, but you can move these, expand them, make them as big or as small that you want. For things like my alert, you might want it to be a little bit smaller because it may not show correctly. But for things for like your chat box, I definitely want to make it better or make it bigger because it's easier for somebody like me who's streaming on the go to see it. Perhaps your event list you don't care about as much because, you know, it's not that big of a thing for such a small screen that I have. Or, you know, play around and have fun with it. You can do whatever you want. That's kind of the cool thing. And these things will layer. So for things that are like my alert box, it's only there when I get an alert. So I can have it take up pretty much the whole screen if I want. If you want to add anything else, if you hit the bottom right hand corner where this circle is, 
tap on that and here's all the different things that you can add to your actual screen and you can even add custom URLs if you like to which is basically like a browser source so it's up to you as the user to pick and choose what you would like to show on your screen and as you can see there's a preview mode that you can tap on and tap off too if you need to just to see what everything is going to look like but you can also push the previews if you're doing this in front of your computer you can do the test subscriber or test donation so you can see how things will pop but just a quick note it won't show you on the screen for some of the things on this platform you will have to go to your vod and see how it shows up for you when you're all good and done hit the top left arrow and it'll take you back and then we can swipe one more time there we go and the next thing you have down here is your alert profile which if you have multiples it, you can do it there but basically it's just set up for default so make sure you have that turned on if you want to show any profiles or your profile and then even below that if we swipe one more time you have your settings which is all the different um, options you have for this particular program it shows you what streaming platforms you can use so twitch youtube mixer uh your custom it's got win what ingest server you're going to do i recommend obviously picking the closest one to you but if you're in a very populated city it might be better to do a different one and then you got the same thing for mixer it'll have the same kind of thing pick what server you want to uh, stream to your broadcast options right here which shows your output depending on how much power you have in your phone and obviously the kilobits and the service that you have that you can push up and push down you get to pick and choose what you think is going to be best for your options here right now the options you have is 360p 720p and 1080p which is quite impressive the fact that you get that on other streaming mobile platforms you don't get to go up to 1080p without paying for a little bit of extra or they don't offer that service at all so that's kind of nice that this program does here you also get to pick your frame rates. So you got everything from 15, 24, 30, and 60. I leave me in, I leave mine on 30 myself just because it's easier, but it's nice that it gives you 60 frames per option too. If you want something a little bit cleaner. And here you have your max video bit rate. I basically keep mine on the default, which is 4,000, but if you're gonna be in a, a spot that doesn't have a lot of service, I'd probably recommend going down to 2,500. However, if you're in a place with really strong Wi-Fi, you can obviously kick it up to the 4,000s, 5,000s, and even beyond that. Like there, it goes all the way up to 48,000. But for this one, we're just gonna leave it at 4,000 there. Then you have all your audio settings. So you got low, medium, high, very high. It's up to you what you wanna leave it at. The default for the option of the program is uh, very high. And then here's the about, if you need to learn anything about anything that's coming out on the program. They'll also put updates and let you know what version they're on for this. And if you need to log out and you wanna log into a different streaming platform, if you wanna go from Twitch to Mixer or Mixer to YouTube or YouTube to Twitch or vice versa or in any order, you will have to log out of the program and log in under that particular streaming service that you wanna do. That way the program knows what to actually upload to. So make sure if you wanna stream under something else, you log out and log back in under the proper one. Now, if you wanna make any changes to your actual stream name, right here I have mine labeled as Stream Labs Test. We're gonna go over to this pencil right here and tap on it. It's gonna get a little shaky, I'm sorry. And you tap on that and there it's gonna show you how to name your stream. So name it whatever you want. This is actually what the title of your stream will be called. For mine, I'm gonna leave it as Stream Labs Test. And then underneath that is the category that the stream will be going to when you do your mobile stream. Now this one's a little more open air because it leaves room for spelling mistakes, which I don't like. I kind of wish it had predefined categories like IRL, creative, music, certain things like that. But the cool thing about this is you can actually label it whatever you want. So for instance, if you do cosplaying, and let's say you do, you're doing a Legend of Zelda, you technically are allowed to stream under the Legend of Zelda section if you wanted to. So it's kind of nice that it gives you the option, but it also leaves room for errors and things like that. But for this tutorial, we're just gonna leave it under Streamlabs test and the creative category. From here, the next button you have right here, this is your microphone where you get to turn it on or you get to turn it off. For the mute options, it'll just have a red uh, slash through it if you want to make it mute. If you want it on, you just tap it back on and it's white. 
The button next to this right here is your camera button. So right now, the camera is facing towards me, so that way you have something to look at, because if it was to face the other way, all you're gonna see is some monitors and some screens. But that's how you flip it around if you want to, is you hit this little button here. I'm not gonna hit it because you're not gonna really see anything. It's just gonna blow out into a light. And then right here is your alerts system of what's actually going on. This is the most unique thing and the best thing about the Streamlabs program right here. Now you can either tap it, or you can grab the screen and swipe to the right. So if I grab my screen right here, sorry if I get shaky, and pull over to the side, you guys are probably familiar with this actual layout here. This is the dashboard options of when you look at the Streamlabs program on your computer. And it lets you know all the followers that you have, all the subs that you get, all the bits, all the donations, everything like that, hosts, it's all awesome and laid out here for you perfectly. And you can use all of these for your mobile stream. And this is what makes this program probably one of the better ones, or at least one of the more unique ones. So if you miss something within a stream, which happens all the time on a mobile stream, because you're usually multitasking, you can always come back to the screen and look at who was your most recent follower, or if somebody sent you a donation, you can thank them for it, or bits and things like that. And this is one of the best programs I've seen that shows us out for a mobile platform. And there we go, we're back to here to swipe back. And all you do from here is you just go live. And if you're not sure how to go live, it's right down there. They made it nice and easy. When you hit that, it'll take a few seconds to load over in the bottom right hand corner. It's actually gonna update and pull in all your Twitch emotes, which is kind of unique. So this is what it looks like live. This is the VOD, and this is one of the best ways to test what it looks like for the quality that you get. It's gonna show you a few different things, like your event list, followers, chatters, tickers, your box windows, depending on where you put them on. But the program works really good. The only thing I've noticed that there's an issue with is when you actually get alerts to come in from a follow or a sub or a donation, I've noticed there's a huge ramp down in the FPS and it comes to a chopping stutter. Now this doesn't happen all the time, but I have noticed it a few times. It'll kind of go from 30 to 10 or eight and it gets kind of stuttery at times, but it usually ramps back up. So don't let that be a problem, but you can see it's got great clarity. It comes through nice and it's got a lot of bells and whistles on it. So this might be the perfect program for you out there if you're wanting to get into the mobile streaming of YouTube, Twitch and Mixer. When you're done with your stream, just make sure you hit that button down there. That's a nice stop button and it's all done and over and click end broadcast and you're completely done and out of the program. And make sure you leave your Twitch um, broadcast to archive if you ever need to go back and look at anything or grab them for highlights or you wanna check how it sounded or how things work. That's how, uh, uh, that's how it'll go for you. Just use those, refer back to them so that way you can see if you need to like, you know, use the camera in a different way, turn up the volumes, turn down the volumes, work up on your bit rate, work down on your bit rate. And uh, that's pretty much all of what everything does here. Now, Streamlabs isn't the only mobile streaming platform out there. There's two others that I highly recommend that you check out. The first one being IRL TV app that you can download if you're an iPhone user from the App Store. That's a great program and it's actually the first one I started using. And the nice thing about that is it has a text to speech program. So if you're doing multitasking on your mobile stream and you can't read the chat, it'll actually read it to you if you have headphones on, which is a really awesome program. And don't forget, Twitch actually developed their own mobile streaming program that you can use on your phone as well. If you're not sure, or you haven't seen any of these other tutorials that I've done, I'll put a link up in the description there in the top right corner so that we can click on that. I've done a tutorial on both the IRL TV and on the Twitch one. So go ahead and make sure you check those out as well. Thanks for sticking in here this long. Hopefully that helps you on your mobile streaming adventures. I love seeing all the mobile IRL streams, the creative ones, the music ones. They're really fun. Go ahead and give it a shot because you know what? It's really easy to set up. And the best thing about all of these programs, they're all free to use. Just make sure you go ahead and give them a nice download and leave some feedback on the app store for them because all these developers do actually take all those notes and kind of refine the process, which helps all of us in the end. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a nice thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you wanna see more of these videos, go ahead and leave a comment below because it does help me out. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that sub button, help a bro out. I will see you guys in the next streaming tutorial coming up real quick. 
and make sure to follow me on my social media and I will see you guys. Take care. Peace.